As a kid growing up in Queens, New York, home entertainment wasn't like it is today. Playing Pong on Atari was a big deal. There was no computer, no cable. VHS home video wasn't even around yet. When I was a kid, going to the movies was still the king of entertainment. This used to be the deluxe movie theater here in Woodside, Queens. It showed movies from 1933 to 1986. One weekend, me and my best buddy at the time, David O'Connor, scraped up two bucks a piece to see whatever was playing that weekend. It was 1973 and the movie was Slither. It was the first movie I went to see without my parents. The Elmwood Theater, opened in 1928 and closed in 2002. Back in the 70s, my father used to take me to all the action flicks. Now, we all know the famous ones, but there were the lesser known hardcore action flicks with really good plot twists like The Friends of Eddie Coyle and The Seven Ups. It was the 70s, so it was easy to bring a kid into an R-rated film. My father had no qualms about my age, and I was forever grateful. The Trilon, here in Forest Hills, Queens, opened in 1939 and closed in 1999. Now, technology and consolidation may have changed the era of the local movie theater and gave way to the megaplexes, but technology also gave us the opportunity to do one thing, make our own movies. Hi, I'm Paul Cogman, and this is my big production office here in my apartment. I hope you enjoyed that nostalgic tour of the single house movie theaters here in Queens, New York, all of which have been converted or closed. Maybe reminding you of the days when you went to the movies as a kid, or gives you an idea of what it was like going to the movies before you were born. 8 to 5 on Cleveland is a short film I wrote and directed, and I'm still producing. It's a short thriller with the gritty tone and edge of the films that I used to love to see in those theaters when I was a kid. It stars the talented at Oliver Vacour and PJ Sasko. Is beautifully shot by Paul Close, along with the crew of John Murphy, Greg Karras, Damon Cook, and assisted by Madeline Russell. And the cast and crew is fed by my dear old dad himself, Patrick Coughlin. Now, to keep this strong project going, I need your participation. Any contribution that you give will be reflected with rewards that I hope make you feel as if though you're part of the project itself. If you're unable to contribute, maybe you can pass the word along through Facebook, emails, or word of mouth to somebody that would like to contribute. That I would really appreciate. Now, if you're familiar with the Kickstarter venue, it is an all or nothing situation. Whatever contribution you give, you will retain if I don't reach my goal. So nothing is ever lost. Now, if you love movies as much as I do, or you appreciate a project that strives for quality and comes from the heart, then I think you'll appreciate being part of this project. Thanks for your valuable time, and I'll see you at the movies.